Hey guys, it's John. Today we're going to be looking at the oil pen. And um, as you guys know, the oil pen isn't actually very cheap. It's uh, quite expensive. Even here in the States, it's uh, around $10 if you buy it retail. And um, it's kind of hard to find it cheaper than that. So, I'm going to show you guys how to basically simulate the oil pen. And um, just to let you guys know, um, the way if you guys haven't seen how the oil pen works, it's basically a sealed pen, basically the way that a pen would work. But the tip is a very fine tip brush. Let's see if we could focus on that. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how the oil transfers from inside to the outside where the oil, it, the issue is that it's, there's only one gram of it, right? So you're going to run out pretty soon if you keep using it a lot. So I propose an alternative where it's going to be cheaper. It's not actually the oil that matters, it's the way that you um, apply it to the gears on your car. Where the way oil works is that you don't want there to be too much of it, right? You don't want it to be thick, otherwise that will actually slow down your car. So, the cheapest way to simulate something like that is for you to buy your own brush. Which is basically just a paintbrush, you know, something simple. This was a $2 paintbrush that I got from a craft store. Uh, Simply Simmons round round, I don't even remember, round round one, basically. And um, the advantage to using something like this is that it's cheaper. And in addition to that, the brush is bigger. So when you're actually applying the oil, it'll be much faster. And for you, um, it's up to you what kind of oils you're going to be using. Because it honestly doesn't matter as long as you find an oil that is not too thick, it should be okay. You know, that's the whole point. You don't want very thick oil, and um, this is the best way in order for you to actually apply oil, which is sparingly. And um, if you guys really want to know what oil I use, you don't have to use the same one. I use the Inox MX3. Um, that's what I've been using for a long time. That's what I use. So you guys could get that for yourself if you want to use that. So it's up to you. And um, what I do is I actually put it in a small bottle so I don't have to carry that thing around right here. It's too much. It's too big. And um, I buy the uh, Tester's uh, Thinner um, bottle. Basically, it's very small. You see, you could fit 0.25 fluid ounces of something. So that's what I do. I put that in there. And... Um, I'll demo how you guys do it. It's quite simple. It's basically like painting gears. Okay guys, so now that we're back, we're gonna go ahead and um, get some of the oil that I have from this bottle that we just focused on. And um, let me move that to the foreground first so you guys could see exactly how much I actually get. Hopefully the video adjusts. So okay, there you go. Not a lot, right? Not a lot. So basically you just make it um, moist of the oil, right? Not damp. If you guys need to know the difference between moist and damp, you have to look that up on the, on the uh, dictionary or Google or something like that. Okay. Now that we've gone past uh, basically doing stuff like that um, we're going to oil the gears where so basically it's not really about the oil it's about how you apply the grease okay so basically you apply the grease one by one right bit by bit over each in between each uh, teeth basically you just go around in between that, right? All right? That's for the pinion. That should be enough for the pinion. You see? If you actually used the oil pen, that would take so much longer when you actually did that on your own. Okay. Now, uh, there's still enough oil on the on the brush that you actually don't need to re-soak it. So you can, can ju just continue on what you're doing. Just do that. Right? In between the gears. <clears throat> and just roll your car uh, there you go
Okay, now that I've put all the oil between all the gears, you know, um, if you ever need to actually clean the brush tip, right? One of the best ways to do is if you have like another, if you should get another bottle of the thinner or any actually thinner, um, the <clears throat> lighter fluid actually that the um, people usually buy for the hobby, that's actually enough to actually clean the brush because it's it gets the oil out and that's the best way to clean the brush. You just um, dip it in there, right? And that's it. That's basically you cleaning out the oil and then just dry it out with some napkin, maybe, or tissue. That's all you really need to do. And then it's ready for use so that the oil doesn't actually get caught on the brush. Basically, it doesn't get, um, doesn't get grimy over time because it's going to get exposed to dust. Well, some of you, I know, are going to be skeptical and say, okay, why don't you just use one drop? Well one drop is actually too much oil like if you use a dropper um, like this dropper right here often it's too much when you when you use when you use a drop or two and you usually end up as far as I know most people usually use one drop per gear and that's already too much with this you can control the amount of oil that you use and um, if you use it properly, you're not going to be using too much oil. And um, like I said from the beginning of the video, too much oil is going to actually gunk up your gears or slow them down. And okay, so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, put the car together so you could hear the difference. I mean, this um, this transmission has been worked on, but not a lot. So I didn't spend too much time on it other than using straighter shafts. And uh, like the, the inox oil, so we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, car back together so you could hear what it sounds like. And there you go. So there's a little bit of catching, but it's very smooth and um, it's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy about the result of that one. Only one of the gears is catching because uh, I didn't tighten it very much over here on that side. But that's basically it, guys. So there you have it. That's how you uh, use a, a, a brush to basically simulate the uh, oil pen. And uh, it's up to you. You could spend um, 10 bucks on the oil pen or you could do it yourself and buy like a brush for maybe like a dollar or two bucks this one was two bucks and you can even use whatever oil that you want to use too so that's it guys if you'd like to see more videos like this please like subscribe and share and uh thanks for watching go race